guys, Coach Rob here. I wanted to go over an exercise that we refer to as the incline on the fit ball. Many of you are familiar with the uh, big inflatable balls and we use them to increase the instability as you go through your uh, various weightlifting exercises. Uh, this particular exercise is going to work your upper pecs and your anterior delts. And like all of our exercises, I want you to really focus on good form and lifting the weight slowly. We want momentum to be removed out of the equation at all costs. By doing so, you're going to force the tissue to, you're going to force more muscle tissue to work, which is only going to make you stronger in a shorter period of time. Um, one thing about this exercise is uh, we're actually going to purposely have your hips below your, your uh, shoulders so that we can work the upper pecs. Notice that we're not doing a flat bench on the ball. That's a different exercise altogether. This is what we call our incline, okay? So what you're going to notice is we're going to bring it down nice and low first. I'm going to bring it down low enough to where my head is being supported by the ball. And then I'm simply just going to lift the weight in between my chin and my pecs. You don't want to get the weight too far in front of you, and you don't want it too far behind you because you tr your goal, obviously, is to load up the front of the shoulders and your pecs, okay? Upper chest, anterior delt. That's what we're after, and I want you to really do it slowly, okay? Now, even though you may not realize it, though your hips are drawn down, your core has to stay tight, otherwise the ball will shift to the left and the right, okay? As I'm back this way, it's going to either want to come towards you or away from you as you're looking at the screen. So keep that in mind. The tighter your core, as always, the better the range of motion is going to be for you, the more stability you're going to create. But more importantly, I want you to focus on the fact that that's how human movement is really optimized and the maximum amount of efficiency is gained. That is having a tight, strong core because the core is the anchor that all the other muscles have to pull from and start from to move you forward. Okay, so even though we're lifting upper pecs and anterior delt, we also want your abdominals to be nice and tight to keep the ball from shifting to left to right. All right, you're also going to be strengthening your erector spinae group by subtly turning that on while you're focusing here. You don't want your hips shifting all around. Again, we're back to how human movement really works. Okay, if you have any questions about this, please email me. My email address is rob, R O B B, the number three, at earthlink.net. And thanks for watching the video.